Hi, I'm James Headley and welcome to the Living in Savannah channel. With some seemingly very con contradictory data and headlines out there, what's a prospective home buyer to think and do today? You know, interest rates are at or near their uh, highs for the last couple of decades, so why would you want to get a mortgage now? You marry the house and just date the rate, i.e. you can always refinance when rates uh, seemingly inevitably drop, so don't miss out on that house you want. You know, these are just a couple of examples of what I'm referring to that can lead you to paralysis by analysis. In today's episode, I'm going to do my best to help provide those of you out there thinking about purchasing a home here on Skidaway Island with some perspective on whether this is a good time to buy or not. Uh, as always, I appreciate you subscribing, liking, and sharing, and I hope you'll reach out anytime if I can be of assistance to you or anyone you know. Uh, it's a bad time to buy a home. That was the headline in a recent article that I read. Um, this summer, more Americans held that view than any time since 2002, which was the first year that uh, mortgage agency Fannie Mae started its Home Purchase Sentiment Index. Those aforementioned high rates, um, though keep in mind historically, though they probably aren't really that high when compared with those double digit numbers that some of you or maybe your parents or even grandparents carried on their mortgages not all that long ago. Uh, but still, those rates are, are a big piece of, of that sentiment, no doubt. Uh, so are the overhanging effects of the home price run up during peak COVID. You know, it's no wonder that many buyers are reluctant to buy now when prices may still seemingly be at or near peak levels and the cost of borrowing is higher than in recent memory. You know, toss in sellers' reluctance to part with their homes and look elsewhere if they're sitting on mortgages under uh, 4% or even under 3%. Uh, and it may seem like a lost cause to be considering the purchase of a home now. Uh, if you've watched any of my other videos here on the channel, you know I'm not here to cheerlead. I'm not going to hammer those cliches about dating the rate or the fact that renting is effectively paying a 100% mortgage interest rate or anything else like that. No, my, my aim is to understand your particular circumstances in order to provide you with any additional context or perspectives that can help you to make the right decision for you at the right time. You know, that means I might be the one telling you not to rush into making an offer, but rather to wait for a better, uh, a better opportunity, whether that's another home, better market conditions, or both. On the other hand, if I see a buying opportunity that fits well with your particular circumstances, I'm here to help you capitalize on it. So given where things stand in the Skidaway Island market, is it the right time for you to buy? Uh, again, I want to learn more about your specific circumstances, but here are some general thoughts. You know, number one, I would say it is a good time to buy if you were looking to purchase your retirement home, especially if that means selling elsewhere and making Savannah your primary residence. Uh, unless you're selling your home in one of those areas where home prices have declined dramatically, like Seattle or San Francisco, or a lower cost market where sales and selling prices are heavily influenced by fluctuations in interest rates, now is likely as good a time as any to cash in that equity and put it to work for you in your retirement home. Uh, with inventories in the landings, uh, back to hovering in the low to mid-teens, basic economics argues against any significant drop in housing prices anytime soon, so waiting for a deal may be an exercise in futility. And frankly, if this could be your last home, do you really care where prices are 18 months from now when you're playing 18 or pickleball or relaxing by the pool? Uh, secondly, if the Landings Golf and Athletic Club is one of the big draws for you here, I would absolutely say now is a good time to buy. You know, from the local grapevine, grapevine buzz, it seems likely that initiation fees will rise again in the near, near future at the club. And right now, uh, the club has a discounted fee structure for those that don't expect to be here full time for the first 24 months of ownership. You know, in other words, if you're going to be renovating a home here or doing the snowbird thing, transitioning to retirement, etc., cetera, uh, you, you may still end up uh, with an advantageous financial position by purchasing now. And thirdly, uh, if you don't mind taking on or living with some renovations in your home, I, I would suggest in this case, you might actually want to wait a bit before purchasing. Uh, the fact that there will be 45 new homes going up in the new Grand Harbor development as just one example, and then the fact that they are new construction is, uh, and that's one of the many draws there, 
It would not be too surprising uh, to me to see a bit more of an uptake in landings inventory as those homes near completion in mid to late 2024. You know, those are just a few general uh, considerations and categories. But again, let's connect one-to-one to explore your motivations for considering a purchase on Skidaway Island. And we can work together to determine when and what might be the best move for you. Uh, until then, thanks again for tuning in, liking, subscribing, and sharing. And I will look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Take care.